Today's topic of discussion is uh, metabolism of the drug. It is one of the parameter of the pharmacokinetics and welcome to pharmacomania. I am Dr. Shanaz Malay. After absorption, distribution and now metabolism of the drug. It is the third parameter of the pharmacokinetic. So what is the drug metabolism or the biotransformation? In simple uh, word we can say that it is the breakdown of the drug and chemical alteration in the living organism and uh, it is convert lipid soluble and unionized drug into water soluble and ionized drug to excrete from the body and it does not reabsorb from the renal tubule so it can easily excrete it from the renal tubule and if the parent drug is highly polar then it is not metabolized and it is excreted in unchanged form like amino glycoside now sites of the metabolism drugs are metabolized at the various site first major site is the liver it is the hepatic non microsomal enzyme uh, metabolism and other site are extra hepatic microsomal enzyme like uh, in the uh, lungs skin intestine these all are site where drugs are metabolized now activity of the metabolism or the consequences of the metabolism there are various consequences like active drug are converted into inactive metabolites like phenobarbitol converted into hydroxyphenobarbitol and phenytoin converted into hydroxyphenytoin and then it excreted from the renal tubule now second group is the active drug converted into active metabolites like parent drug is active as well as metabolites also active like codeine more codeine is the parent drug and morphine is the metabolites both are active and diazepam and oxazepam oh, diazepam is the parent drug and metabolites is oxazepam both are active and now inactive drug converted into the active metabolite so this is the pro drug which is inactive and uh, which is activate in the body so levodopa is converted into dopamine and now levodopa is the product but dopamine is the active drug and which act in the body prednisone is uh, a product and prednisolone is the active drug now what is pro drug pro drug is inactive drug in uh, which is converted into active metabolites so what are the benefits of the products first of all it increase the absorption of the drug elimination of uh, an unpleasant taste decrease toxicity of the drug decrease metabolic inactivation increase chemi uh, chemical stability and prolong the or the shorten the action some example of the products are like to improve bioavailability and parkinsonism there is deficiency of the dopamine occur so if we are giving uh, dopamine it will not cause the blood brain barrier and if we are giving pro drug of the dopamine like levodopa it will cross the blood brain barrier and convert into dopamine so this is the uh, example of the improvement of bioavailability second one is the to prolong the duration of action like phenothiazine have shorter duration of action if we are giving pro drug of the phenothiazine is the ester of the phenothiazine then the half life of the drug is increase and longer duration of action will occur now third advantage of the pro drug is to improve the taste example is the clindamycin has bitter taste so clindamycin permitted suspension has been developed for the pediatric patient to improve the taste fourth group is to provide site specific drug action like methanamine in acetic urine it form formaldehyde and which is the act as the urinary aseptic now phases of metabolism there are two type of the phases first phase one is the non synthetic reaction which convert parent drug into polar metabolized by introduce, introducing or removing functional group like hydroxy group amine group or thiol group now what is oxidation it is the addition of oxygen or removal of the hydrogen is called oxidation it is the most important and common metabolic reaction oxidation reaction are mainly carried out by the cytochrome p450 uh, enzyme uh, here uh, some other groups are also present several cytochrome p450 isoenzymes are present there are numbered as 1 2 3 4 Uh, and uh, each as a b c d subfamilies and more than 50% of the drug undergoes biotransformation under cyp 
3A4 or 5 enzyme. Now reduction of the drug, removal of the oxygen or addition of hydrogen is known as reduction and uh, hydrolysis breakdown of the compound by addition of water is called hydrolysis. This is common among esters and amides. Cyclization conversion of the straight chain compound into ring structure and decyclization uh, breaking up of the ring st structure into the straight chain. So these are the various phases of the type 1 phase metabolism. Phase 2 or synthetic reaction. Uh, phase 2 consists conjugation or reaction. After phase 1 metabolites are polar then it will excrete it in urine or bile. And after phase 1 the metabolites are non-polar or are lipophilic then undergo subsequent conjugation with endogenous substances like glucuronic acid, sulfuric acid, acetic acid and amino acid. After conjugation, these metabolites are polar and water soluble and inactive. Not all the drug undergoes first phase 1 and phase 2 reaction uh, order. In case of isoniazide, it follows uh, phase 2 reaction preceded phase 1 reaction. Like uh, drug A is uh, follow phase 1 preceded phase 2 reaction and then excrete in urine. Uh, drug B and C follows phase 1 and uh, phase 2 only then it excrete in urine. Uh, drugs D is follows phase 2 first, they preceded phase 1 and excrete in urine. When drug E is unchanged excreted in urine, so it is not metabolized in the body. So, sequence may be different in each and every drug. Drug metabolizing enzymes are two type microsomal enzymes and non microsomal enzymes. So, microsomal enzymes are located at the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of the cell, like liver, kidney, and lungs. And enzymes are cytochrome 450 mono oxygenase glucuronyl transferase. These are the example of the microsomal enzymes. The reactions are mostly phase 1 reaction and glucuronide conjugation. These enzymes are inducible and in which um, effect on the metabolism of the drug. Now non-microsomal enzymes are locations are cytoplasm, mitochondria and plasma. Examples are conjugases, esterases, amidases, flavor of protein and oxidases. Reactions are oxidation, reduction, hydrolysis, all conjugation except glucuronyl conjugation which is occur through the uh, microsomal enzyme and uh, this non microsomal enzyme are non inducible and may show genetic but it can show genetic malformation hoffman elimination drug can be inactivated without any need of any enzyme this is known as hoffman elimination atracinum is the drug as a uh, skeletal muscle relaxation undergoes hoffman elimination now, factor affecting drug metabolisms are first of all is the age. Uh, in neonates and in elderly patients, metabolism of the drug are different uh, than adult because uh, it uh, may be diminished the amount of activity of hepatic microsomal enzymes. In neonate, conjugate the chloramphenicol slowly and develop toxicity like grave AV syndrome. Increase incidence of toxicity of the propanol with lignocaine in elderly patients due to their decreased hepatic metabolism. Diet uh, which also affect uh, like a poor nutrition can decrease the enzyme function. So it uh, hampered the metabolism of the drug. Now this is, is the one of the factor which is uh, affecting on the metabolism like chronic disease of the liver may affect the hepatic metabolism of the some drug like in uh, action of the uh, diazepam and patient with cirrhosis due to its impaired metabolism toxicity of the diazepam can occur. Now genetic factor is the most important factor. Uh, for the drug metabolism. So, there are uh, two kind of the person like slow and fast acetylator of the isoniazide. If person is with slow acetylator, then drug will slowly metabolized and retain in the body. So, peripheral neuritis is a toxicity can occur in slow acetylator person. And if uh, fast acetylator are uh, the drug is fast metabolized from the body and excrete from the body fast so quickly. Uh, so uh, 
that patient required large doses of the drug to produce therapeutic effect. Now another example of the genetic uh, factor affecting drug metabolism is the succinylcholine apnea. Now succinylcholine is the neuromuscular blocker and metabolized by the plasma pseudocholine esterase, uh, which is uh, so succinylcholine is metabolized with, within two to three, three to eight minutes. And uh, some individual person are atypical pseudocholine esterase that uh, metabolizes the drug very slowly. So in the result, prolonged apnea due to paralysis of the respiratory muscle. And this is the dangerous condition to that uh, known as succinylcholine apnea. Now third condition is the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency and hemolytic anemia. So G6PT deficiency activity is the important to maintain the integrity of the RBCs. A person with G6PT deficiency may develop hemolysis anemia. When exposed to certain drugs like sulfonamide, primaquine, succinic, uh, salicylates and depsone, these all drugs can uh, cause uh, hemolytic anemia in G6PD deficiency patient. Now, uh, simultaneously administration of the drug can increase or decrease the metabolism of the other drug. Now, enzyme induction. Repeated administration of the certain drug increase the synthesis of microsomal enzyme. This is known as enzyme induction. The drug is referred as enzyme induces like uh, rifampicin, phenytoin, barbiturate, carbamazepine, and crisofulvin. These all are drug induces the enzyme. So, another drug which is given with this all drug can uh, metabolize fast because due to induction of that metabolize and that drug decrease the effect because of the fast metabolism. So, now clinical importance of the microsomal enzyme induction are enzyme indu induction may accelerate the metabolism of the drug and thus reduce the duration and intensity of drug action leading to, uh, leading to therapeutic failure like rifampicin and oral contraceptive pills. Rifampicin induces the drug metabolism of uh, oral contraceptives thus enhancing its metabolism and leading contraceptive failure can occur. Now, auto induction may lead to development of tolerance and example are the carbamazepine enhance its own metabolism. Third is the enzyme induction can lead to drug toxicity like increase the incidence of the hepatotoxicity with paracetamol in, in alcohol equation is due to overproduction of the toxic metabolites of the paracetamol. And fourth is the prolonged phenytoin therapy may produce osteomalacia due to enhancement of the metabolism of the vitamin D3. Enzyme inducer can precipitate porphyria due to overproduction of porphobilinogen and uh, enzyme induction can also be beneficial in uh, phenobarbitone in neonatal jaundice. Phenobarbitone induces glucuronyl transferase enzyme and bilirubin is conjugated and jaundice is resolved. It can be used as a therapeutic purpose also. Now, enzyme inhibition. Certain drugs like chloramphenicol, ciprofloxacin, erythromycin inhibit activity of the drug metabolizing enzyme and are known as enzyme inhibitors. Inhibition of metabolism of one drug by another can be occurred when both are metabolized by the same enzyme. Enzyme inhibition is a rapid process as compared to enzyme induction. Now, cl clinical relevance of the enzyme inhibition. Enzyme inhibition can result in drug toxicity, increase incidence of bleeding in warfarin as it reduces the metabolism of the drug and drug retained in the body. So, toxicity can occur. Due to concomitant uh, administration of erythromycin and or chloramphenicol, these drug inhibit the metabolizing enzyme of warfarin, resulting in increased plasma concentration of warfarin and enhance anticoagulant effect of the warfarin and bleeding can occur. Thank you for watching the video.